Hello Mini Pilots, uh, my name is Paul Tace. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the maximum size we can print pictures from our DJI Mavic Mini without losing quality. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I decided to make this video uh, because about a year ago I was heavily photography based and not so much video based. Uh, but when I put the uh, DJI Mavic Mini up in the air, um, I find myself taking a lot more video than I do pictures. Uh, now the reason for this was I believed I couldn't get a high quality picture from it, whereas I'm used to shooting pictures around 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. The Mavic Mini actually only gives us uh, 4,000 by 3,000, and I wasn't sure how great quality this would be. So I decided to order the larger two posters, and then um, see what the quality was like, and go from there. So after a few days of waiting, I got these two posters through, and now I'm going to see what the quality is like. So this is the 20 by 30 print. Um, I'm actually quite impressed by the quality. I would have expected it to, um, to be a lot worse than this, if I'm honest. I'd also mention where the camera takes the picture at 4,000 by 3,000 pixels. This one was actually 3,822 by 2,548 pixels. And this was because I wanted to rotate it slightly, so I had to crop it afterwards. I wouldn't recommend cropping them if you want the best quality out of them, but I felt this was the best option for me. I'd also mention that if you are shooting, I'd always try to shoot at 100 ISO and not push the sensitivity limit of the sensor. Now when I look at this really closely, um, I can't see any pixelation. It does look very slightly kind of noisy, like it has been shot on ISO, high ISO, which I know it hasn't. But this is because I'm looking at it really close. Um, if you want to frame this and put it on the wall, it'll be further away. So what I'll say is that if you're using this for personal use, it's actually really good quality. Um, if you want to start pushing this into professional use and you're using this commercially, I would say you might want to upgrade to a slightly better drone, uh, something more professional. But for me, I'm really happy with this print. So if we look at the next one, this is the 45 by 30 inches. And you can see it's pretty huge. Now, I was actually expecting this to be really awful. And um, I thought this would have pushed the, uh, pushed the sensor to its limits. But actually, I'm very impressed. Um, I personally can't see me ever needing anything bigger than uh, 45 by 30 inches, and I've never actually printed anything this big before. So it's actually very similar quality to the last photo, which is actually I found really surprising. And if I look really closely, uh, we can see there is, it looks a bit noisy again, like I've pushed the ISO of the camera up, but um, there's a slight kind of watercolor look to it, and uh, you can tell it's been digitally printed. And I say, uh, it's not the highest quality, but uh, for your average photographer who just wants something for their own wall, this again is actually going to be quite perfect. So there we go. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised that the 45 by 30 inch poster print was usable. Um, <laughs> it was more than I would have ever expected. I say, if you look at the uh, lens on this camera, it's absolutely tiny. So uh, to get such a good quality print, uh, I say from a semi-professional camera, was really good. So I say, I wouldn't push this and use it in commercial use, but for home use, it's absolutely perfect. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.